Hello out there. Currently sitting in the spot out front that I like to sit and probably have more videos sitting here and videos sitting outside. <clears throat> Over the last few months I've been going through what's known as awakening shock. It's when you wake up and you start to realize your surroundings more and the situations you're in and I don't even know if I'm fully woken up yet but it's scary when you start seeing things for what they are and it's like your perspective on things change and you know figuring out just new things and new ways to cope with things when you learn different things about situations. The point is not to stay in awakening shock forever. I maybe been in it a little longer than I'm supposed to, but the thing is to learn and to move on <clears throat> and to grow once you wake up from things. The thing is, once you wake up, you can't Regardless of what's happened in the past, you can't blame your problems on other people anymore. You learn and realize that every person is responsible for their own destiny. And every person is responsible for themselves. And it makes you want to step up and, you know, take the responsibility more and learn from it and grow from it. <clears throat> One other thing I wanted to talk about right now is my speech. I have definitely very odd speech. I um, I talk really. F some I've been known to talk really fast, even though it doesn't really sound fast to me. And um, I talk really loud. People have always told me to quiet down, to shut up, and I don't know if I have like a distortion within within my senses, like my hearing, but it doesn't sound loud to me but it'll sound loud to other people. And apparently I'm just now realizing that I talk with a tone when I talk to people. And I don't mean to come off that way. When I was young, I used to always, he would talk to me with a tone and that's the only tone I've um, ever, you know, ever heard. And it just becomes second nature, kind of like an echo lolia thing. It's kind of the tone I heard when I was being raised. But as I said earlier, when you wake up, you start taking responsibility. You realize you need to take responsibility and you can't blame your problems on stuff like that anymore. And it's time to move on from stuff like that. <clears throat> um, but a lot of times people don't understand my emotions or my emotions don't make sense for how I feel. <clears throat> People ask me all the time, why do you look depressed? Why do you look depressed? The thing is, I'm not necessarily depressed. I don't know if I have a depressed look on my face, but I could actually be feeling really good and someone would be like, is something wrong? You look depressed. And, you know, um, like when I'm angry about a subject, I'll convey my anger <clears throat> and talk about it with a tone. Now, a lot of times people will think I'm mad at them or say, "What well, you know, why are you mad at me? Now, the thing is, if I'm talking to someone and it sounds like I'm angry towards them, I may be angry about the subject that I'm talking about and I'm showing my anger about the subject, but even though I'm talking with a tone and to, like I'm talking to you in there, has that tone that anger and that tone is not towards you that anger and the tone is about that subject and I'm showing you my emotions and my passion towards that subject so I've had a I can kind of look back and see why I upset a lot of people and people were upset with me because I don't even understand my emotions and I'm just kind of understanding them now um, trying to kind of gather my thoughts here right now just kind of looking out into the world within the town I live in, looking out in these streets. Um, I can see why, like I said, people <clears throat> were upset with me because I was confused about my emotions and I guess I kind of come off confusing within my emotions and that is definitely something I want to work on. 
but for this night, I think that is it. See you all later.